Welcome to Course Academy. This video is to let you know how to configure your tests using Tracingist.com. What is TCP? TCP stands for Test Configuration Parameter in Tracingist. As the name indicates, it is provided to configure your tests. For example, browser for testing, release number, operating system, mobile device name, etc. What are the things to be noted about this TCP? It is inherited hierarchically, meaning that when TCPs are created on a task object, all its subordinates will also have it inherited. However, you can anytime go ahead and modify them at individual level of task objects. TCPs can be created for certain task objects only. As a best practice, you should add them on a higher level so that they get inherited and uh, it reduces your work to add them on each level. When there are multiple number of TCPs, create a configuration, add TCPs to this configuration and then drag and drop this configuration to the task object. Syntax of TCP. We not just add TCPs, but we can also use them in test cases to specify values. In order to provide value, one should know the syntax of it. So the syntax is within curly braces, TP within square braces, test configuration parameter name. For example, within curly braces, CP within square braces, browser. We'll see its practical implementation later. We'll quickly take a look at what are configurations. Now, TCPs can be bundled together into a configuration and they can be used collectively. Configurations enable you to structure your TCPs. In case of large number of repositories, you will have multiple projects. So in order to track the configurations of these multiple projects, you can have configurations defined for them. These configurations then in turn will carry your TCPs, which later you can pass on to the task objects. Now these are the task objects supporting your TCPs. Project root element, execution list, component folder, execution entry folder, configurations folder, execution entry, test case folder, scratch book, test case, Test case design folder and execution list folder. Now let's jump into Tosca to see its practical implement. I'm in the test cases section of Tosca. Here I have created three folders dev, QA, and UAD. Under dev folder, I have three test cases A, B, and C. To begin with, let's add a test configuration parameter. Right click on the dev folder and select create test configuration parameter. I'll select the parameter as browser and set its value to Chrome. Now, if we take a look at the three test cases, it should have the browser test configuration parameter inherited. A, B, and C. So all of them are having the browser parameter. Now, let's say I want to execute test case C with some different browser. So I can go ahead and set its value to Firefox only for the C test case. Now let's say here I have added these parameters. I'll delete it for demo purpose. Okay. Now let's say here I want to add another parameter. I can always type in and specify its value value i have specified it as dev now in order to use a tcp value into your test step you can always make use of syntax so for demo purpose i have considered the login screen of salesforce i have already created a model so in order to specify the username i can go ahead and type cp square bracket all the available TCPs from the configuration are displayed. We can select it as username. Okay. 
if we right click and translate value it will display the value we have specified for now i'm deleting this Now let's say we have a large number of projects and the configurations are also pretty good to handle. So in this case, we can always make use of configurations. So let's navigate to configurations. Here I have created configurations folder. Under that, by right clicking and selecting create configuration, I have created three different configurations, Dave, QA and UAT. If we take a look at Dave, I have added the TCPs by right clicking and clicking on create TCP. So these are the TCPs which I have collectively added. Now, if I want to pass this on to the test case, I can take this drag and drop onto the Dave folder. So this will be inherited to all the three test cases. Okay. Okay, so now if we go to test case A, and now I'll try to add the CP. I have username over here, then I'll add the password. Let's give it a run to see if it enters the values correctly. Okay, so it has entered the values for username and password. One more thing to note here is that when I created password TCP, it's data type for string. Later, let's say I enter this value and change the data type to password. So then it will be masked. So you should always use this data type in order to speci specify values such as passwords. So in this way, we have seen how to add a TCP, how it gets inherited, how we can individually change it on a DOSCA object, how to create a configuration and add TCPs to a configuration, and then add this configuration to the DOSCA object. That's all for now. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.